y'all welcome back to the lips react channel i'm lips today we watch season three episode nine of game of thrones this episode is titled the reigns of castamere let's get into the episode before we do don't forget to hit like and subscribe on this video if you want full length reactions or in the patreon and i'll see you in the movie the show i'll see you in the show are you sure about this oh strategy if we take tywin's castle from him the lords of Westeros will realize he's not invincible. Take his home, take his gold, take his power. Why are you telling me? D does Rob have the army for that? You begged me not to send Theon to negotiate with his father, and I ignored your advice. This is big for them. I'm asking your advice. Huge. We have enough men? If Walder Frey cooperates. Ooh. If reinforcements arrive from King's Landing, we'll be caught between Tywin's army and the sea. And everyone will die. We'll lose the war and die the way Father died. Or worse. What's the worse? Show them how it feels to lose what they love. The way her voice was shaking. My honored guests. Here we go. What is that, like, bread and salt? I have come to make my apologies, my lord. Don't beg my forgiveness, your grace. It wasn't me who spurned, it was my girls. His, Rob's wife standing there, oh my god. One of them was supposed to be queen. Now none of them are. Our wives, my daughter, my mm -hmm. daughter Walda, my daughter Derwa. Okay, look, some of them look fine. Could have had both for all I care. Oh, he seems so distraught. My granddaughter, Wertha. He doesn't know his... Waldina. <laughs> and here's my youngest daughter, Shuray. Though she hasn't fled yet, clearly you don't have the patience for all that. No. I was pledged to marry one of you, and I broke that vow. The fault is not with you, but any man would be lucky to have any one of you. Are some of them pregnant? I don't really think he cares. There she is. Come closer. Let me have a look at you. Uh-uh. Love. That's what the Starks of Winterfell call it, eh? <sighs> I call it a pretty face. Well, okay, both. Oh, Prettier so than this lot, that's for sure. Oof, that grimace. I bet when you take that dress off, everything stays right where it is. Doesn't drop an inch. And we have to be nice to him because we need him. Oh, Rob is struggling though. I say he betrayed me for firm tits and a tight fit. And I can respect that. Lady Cat held him back. Well, I've enough room in the hall for you lot. Thank you, my lord. He went about it the worst, cringiest way possible, but I guess if he understands. And we'll put this mess behind us. Huh. That was easier than I expected it to be. Okay. Where? Ugh. There. Oh. It's a back gate. My men use it when they visit Yunkai's bed slaves. I have no interest in slaves. A man cannot make love to property. Ooh, oh, 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 she liked that. I kill the guards. I take your two best men and lead them through the back streets. Or perhaps you lead Grey Worm and me to the slaughter. The masters of Yunkai will pay you your fee and you won't have to split it three ways because you've already slaughtered your part. It's not wrong. I doubt it. In my experience, only dishonest people think this way. Oh. Lo genton mire no mas me isa. Idere na copsa verdagon isa. Does he? Podaban squay dras trezi kil. You leave tonight. That's all that matters then. Oh, uh, that was there was so much tension in that. What? If we are truly. The loyal servants will do whatever needs to be done, no matter the cost, no matter our pride. 
past and pride. The night fort's closest to us. It's got a, a secret sally port. If hmm. one knows how to find it, which just so happens, <laughs> I do. Thank God. I was just starting to think, how are they going to climb the wall? How do you know all that? I read about it. Oh. You know all that from staring at marks on paper. You're like a wizard. Oh. Oh. Our father used to tell us that no wildling ever looked upon the wall and lived. Here we are, alive. Wow. I am like grinning like a dummy. <laughs> Is it dumb to feel happy right now? I'm gonna get this soul pulled to the twins in time for the wedding. Many thanks. <gasps> Don't! Oh! You're so dangerous, aren't you? Saying scary things to little girls. Oh. A real hard man you are. <laughs> Anyone you know. You're wrong. I know a killer. You'd be like a kitten to him. Mm. Don't kill him. Please. Please don't. It takes a lot for someone to stand up like You're that. You're very kind. When you... Someday it'll get you killed. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> okay. Right on. Yes, I think. <gasps> Wait. Um, the gave... Uh. Who else saw this? Who said, is that a castle? It doesn't seem to be supporting anyone at the moment. The Wildling? Don't land and there's no war up here. Wildling? Ra uh, John? Only Ooh. one old man and eight good horses. He breeds them for the watch. Let's carve him up. Uh-oh. Doesn't go. The old man's no threat. There's a lot of, um, we're seeing a lot of stark honor. The watch might send a few men looking for a horse thief. They'll send a lot more to hunt down murderers. That's... Killing crows in their castle is tough. Mm. Killing in my day in the open. That's what we do. He tried, John. He's trying not to stray too far from what he believes. <coughs> oh. Come on. He alerted him. He sabotaged it. Egret. <gasps> Ooh. He added himself there. He doesn't really hold back with letting her know who he really is. We are so close. Don't worry, they're still there. I'm not afraid. Of course you are. Mm. You're almost there. And you're afraid you won't make it. She's brave, but she's been through so much I alone. Knew when I saw it in you. <gasps> you're afraid of fire. Oh, of course he is. Eric's sword went up in flames. You look like a scared little girl. Aria. I heard what your brother did to you. Press your face to the fire like you're a nice, juicy mutton chop. Sad. Someday, I'm going to put a sword through your eye and out the back of your skull. Wow. How are we going to get past the wall? How? Indeed, Osha. Even Odor's not strong enough to climb the wall with me on his back. Hold on. Oh. Nineteen castles guard the wall. Only three are still man. Hold on. Uh oh. There's a writer out there. Oh, it's the guy! It's just thunder, sweet giant. Wildlings. Ooh. Hold on! Make him shut up if they hear us. Hush, hold on. No, no more hold on. Hold on! Uh oh. Oh no! They're gonna hear us. Hold on. It's too late. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. <gasps> Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, they're right there! <laughs> that won't help you, Grandpa. It's sad they got him anyway. Cut his throat, or he'll tell the crows we're here. You understand. Let me stand at least. <gasps> that was a bit of dignity. Shaggy Dog and Summer! Wait, if John sees them... The crow kill him. You're one of us now. Prove it. No. Oh, fuck. The wolves are out there. I can't do it by choice. <gasps> I don't know how. It's... You just did with him. The wolf is nothing compared to that. Why isn't everyone in the family a warg then? Oh. Fran is going to see. Do it. Uh oh. Do it. He's going to get Igor in trouble. He's still one of them. Come on, boy. Uh oh. <laughs> And here's his crow wife guarding him. Wow, they've turned on the both of them. Get him! <gasps> He's almost well done! Do you hear me? Oh. He's not gonna hurt her. He was just trying to talk sense into her. I'm not gonna die for one of them! She's fighting it. Let's go. Oh. Yes! Yes! Put it together, John! Put it together! You know who those are! Ah! You were right the whole time. The go got. Oh, shit. You're gonna leave her? He left her? He left her? When you hear a songbird's whistle, you come. I'm a great whistler. There he is. There may be others. I doubt it. The Yunkish prefer to let their slaves do their fighting for them. Uh oh. Yeah, he so boldly said there will not be others. <laughs> oh! That's what you call a few guys. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. I like the trio though. They've got good chemistry together. I hope I'm not a disappointment to you. What what daughter is this? delight to me my lady you now cloak the bride and bring her under your protection that's cute i am hers and she, she is mine oh you were right i can get inside summer's mind whenever i want you're a war you got inside her door's mind you can't do that north the wolf no one can do that when i was looking through summer's eyes i saw john oh <laughs> I tried to kill him, but he got away. I'm not going north of the wall. I'm not asking you to come with me. It won't be safe for Rickon. Hmm. I'm coming with you. No. No. I'm coming with you. No. I'm your brother. Sweet boy. Rob's at war, and I'm going beyond the wall. I don't want to leave you. Oh. Come here, little soldier. Little soldier, oh, Rickon. Your family took me in and was good to me when they had no cause to be. Hmm. They'll teach you how to swing a sword. Yeah. How to swing a sword. Such a sweet baby. You're leaving now. It's the middle of the night. I learned to walk in darkness. Wildling. Keep this one safe. He means the world to me. Who would have known from our introduction to Osha that she would have become this amazing character that we root for and love and need so much? Well, I don't know. You tell me. How long does it take to sack a city? Uh, well, uh, 
probably a, a good amount of time. Uh oh. Just as you said. Only two returned. Their slave soldiers threw down their spears and surrendered. And Dariana Harris? She's worried about where he is. He returns. The city is yours, my queen. Oh, God damn, she likes him. <laughs> Smiles. Good. Okay. We put it behind us. The wedding. He is complained good. about this marriage the entire ride from River One. He's happy because she's pretty. Didn't you marry one of these fray girls? Aye. And promised me the girl's weight in silver as a dowry. So I have a fat young bride. <laughs> Ew. I hope she makes you very happy. Well, she's made me very rich. Pardon? Lady Cat did not like that. My mother's alone with Ruth Bolton. I should rescue her. Your mother is less in need of rescue than any woman I've ever met. Be kind. Oh, I thought that was kind, if I'm honest. If she had her way, I would be back in Volantis, and you would be sitting over there, eating blackberries out of Rosalind Frey's hand. Perhaps I've made a terrible mistake. Ah! Striking your king is an act of treason. <laughs> They are not yet man and wife. And the wedding needs a bedding. This is the weirdest thing they do at weddings in this show. How uncomfortable. Let's just bed them. Okay, this guy is went from hating the idea of getting married to a fray to being far too chummy, right? He's far too excited. I mean, I guess he's not far too excited about it. I'm just nervous. <laughs> Something seems a little fishy. Poor girl. Every bride suffers the same. Oh, Ned forbade it. Ned. That is a very strange custom. That is what I am saying. Without the bedding ceremony, there's no real proof the Lord and Lady consummated their marriage. No, but there are other ways of providing proof. Yes. But if it's a boy, I know what we should name him. Oh, do you? <laughs> Eddard. <laughs> I knew that's what she was going to say. Don't you want to teach little Ned Stark how to ride horses? Yes. Oh, maybe the best thing they ever did for us in this show was killing Ned early. Because, like, now we get to have this, like, really beautiful, kind memory of him. That look is not okay. She's worried. <laughs> to be fair, I am. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bad, 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 bad. Got salt pork for the feast. The feast is over. Doesn't sound like it's over. This is it, isn't it? I thought this was gonna go down differently. Turn this car around. This is like the only event that I've, I don't know what's about to happen, but I, I know what people call it and I know it's bad. I feel I've been remiss. He is angry. I've given you meats, and wine, and music. Mm -mm, Bolton. Queen, a wedding gift. Bro! Oh my God. <gasps> oh! 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 Oh, 
she was so close. <laughs> Gotta let him out. You swore by all the gods your son would marry my daughter! Take me for a hostage! Get up and walk out! He can't. Please! It was his downfall. On my honor as a Talik, on my honor as a Stark, or I will cut your wife's throat! I'll find another. The Lannisters send their regards. <gasps> might be a little bit of a short and sweet afterthought section because I knew the Red Wedding was in this episode going in because I got too curious and I googled which episode it was. I When I thought the Red Wedding, I thought it was going to be like a, one of the weddings at King's Landing. Never in my wildest dreams did I think it was going to be Rob's downfall that it would all and I've been saying for episodes that like Rob's decision to get married and break that oath was a downfall for him I did not think it would be the ultimate downfall. I didn't I didn't consider the fact that if being snided by I didn't consider the bigger picture fact that of course the phrase once 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 they got the news that Rob Stark had married and broken that oath, of course they would go and align themselves with the Lannisters. Of course they would. Oh my god. He fucked his entire family. It was the way they stabbed her belly was horrific. Horrific. Oh my god. Oh, what happened to the uncle? That's my question. I wonder if we ever find out or if he just gets to go live a happy life with his new beautiful bride. I... Okay, other than the tragedy that was that episode, um, there was a lot of, well, there was a lot of honor shining through. Um, oddly enough, 
in the Stark side of things. And then there was like, there's there was finally this moment of being so close to reunited and losing it all. So close. And then it's all taken away. I feel a little hopeless right now. I think it's been pretty obvious that I've been he a heavy team start from the get-go. And I didn't really know how we were going to win the war. And I thought the strategy to, to get into the castle at King's Landing was... seemed big, but I was excited to see that play out. And now we won't get that chance. So I feel a little hopeless. I mean, I'm also very obviously a big fan of Daenerys. So I guess that's an easy switch to like kind of an easy switch on like okay well I guess if I'm not I'm not team Lannister still so I guess I'm I'm team Daenerys but I was always I've always been a big fan of of Danny I just um I you know her her story doesn't intersect with the rest of the world as much at this moment um I think it's interesting that we're getting I feel like we're getting closer and closer to people and like there's a lot of a lot of like we're crossing over the same lands right now we're making different decisions I can't believe John left the Greek I can't I kind of thought he was ride or die for her um and in fact he was just right away from her so that that was kind of a shock but I'm really, really sad. I was not, I was, well, that's that's a lie. I was about to say that I was not the biggest fan of that marriage or that love, but I was the biggest fan of that love. Um, I wanted so badly for Rob to have that love. I thought that if we could have seen more of that love, it would have been really, really beautiful. They were pregnant. They really fucked. They really made it seem so happy. I obviously knowing that it was going to end disastrously made it hard to appreciate the happy moments. But they almost got me. They almost made me forget. I'll tell you what. Uh, anyway. Anyway, that was horrific. Um, thank you for joining. I'm Lips. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll link reactions over on Patreon. And um, it's only up from here, right? This is the worst thing that can happen. Right? Right? They really do love their penultimate episodes. I'll tell you what. They really pull all out for the second to last episode of each season. Ugh. And on we go to the finale. I'll see you in the next one.